Hey guys, and welcome to my new video on this YouTube channel. In this vlog today, I'll be talking about something which has affected me in my day-to-day -day life for the past 14 years. What many people don't know about me and my personality, that at the age of four, I was diagnosed with a form of autism called Asperger's Syndrome, which means that I lack communication skills and social skills in everyday life. In this vlog I'll be explaining 10 things which has affected me most due to my autism and I want to get my word across about the condition itself which uh, affects one in a hundred people in the UK which is around about 700,000. Number one which is probably the most prominent symptom of Asperger's syndrome is that I find it difficult to make or maintain friends and that has been a real struggle to me in everyday life as well as participating in conversation with them so I might say hello how are you what you up to and then I might stop because I have nothing else to say like I don't know how to add to the conversation if you know what I mean I normally just rely on them to think of something to talk about Number two, especially with many people that I don't know or with complete strangers, is that sometimes I find it difficult to understand if someone's joking or being sarcastic. So for an example, on Facebook, um, somebody might say to me, stop poking me. I don't know whether they're actually meaning to say that or they're just joking around and I uh, don't know how to approach people in that manner. Number three is that sometimes I start a new subject of conversation at the wrong time. So for an example, talking about something, if a group of friends are talking about something which I'm very not interested in, I might butt in and say something which is out of that subject and into a subject which I feel a lot more comfortable to talk about. And some people might find that a bit rude because, well, they want to talk about what they want to talk about. And if I'm coming out with something which is not related to that, then that could be a bit rude sometimes. Number four, this is especially when I was at a younger age. Um, I used to repeat doing like imaginative activities such as putting objects side by side and piling objects on top of each other. I used to do that when I was bored and that was a part of my Asperger's really. I used to love doing that and it really used to interest me. Not not so much these days but sometimes I still do it if I'm bored because there's nothing else I could do, you know. Number five is the most recognisable for other people about my personality is that I am remarkably quiet. I never really talk at all to anybody. Everyone's first impression of me when they first meet me is that I'm a really quiet person. I believe that Asperger's has affected my quietness due to my lack of social and communication skills. Yeah, I believe being quiet is a good and a bad thing for me, uh, I believe. Number six is one that does really affect me quite a lot and it's my use of routines in my everyday life. So for an example, with college, uh, if I had a nine o'clock start, I would normally, when I walk to college, I would normally go the same route every day to college. I would also leave at the same time. So it takes me about 18 minutes, approximately, to walk to college. And I normally leave at around about 37 minutes past 8 to get there 5 minutes early so I can get to lesson on time and also as well I like to plan things beforehand but instead of doing it right on the day because then I'm not really planned to do anything if I want to stay indoors I'd want to stay indoors you know for that day and not go out at all so that's uh, affected me quite a lot Number seven is people with Asperger's. They tend to have special interests 
and a very knowledgeable interest in certain things. So, like for me, one of my specific interests is in chart music. For example, I would go onto a chart website and have a look at all the archives of the charts and look at every year from the start of it, which was 1952, and uh, I'll look at every single number one that hit the charts over those years and how long they were there for and how many copies it sold and I really enjoy researching into that, it's a special interest to me. Number eight, sometimes I have sensory difficulties in my life, especially with loud music. Yeah, loud music is one of those that does affect me because I don't like it or it's too noisy, it's not in my right atmosphere. Or sometimes if there's loads of people talking and they're all talking about different subjects which I'm not interested in, I can feel a bit uncomfortable uh, and I start to get a bit worried and a bit sad sometimes. But that's especially at parties. Number nine is common to me a lot more in my younger days, which is I do a lot of repetitive behaviour, uh, which affects me because of my autism. For example, I might uh, flap my hands or rock back and forth, and also I like to fidget, and fidgeting is probably the most common to me. Uh, I tend to do it more when I'm even nervous or I'm excited about something. And finally, my tenth and last one is my lack of confidence in public places. So I don't like going out uh, in busy places. But I prefer to stay indoors and go outdoors and mingle in with people in public. When I do walk outside in public, I tend to like I tend to look down when I walk, like look down on my feet and that is due to my lack of confidence. There's plenty more stuff about me which does affect me because of my autism but it's not as severe as the other stuff really. If you've got any questions or if you want to talk to me about something um, you can comment on YouTube or on my Facebook page where I'll upload this video and um, that's that's all about me and my autism so thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for another video